Hello my angels, welcome to day... I don't know. <laughs> Gotta be honest with you, jet slag is kicking my bum at the minute. Usually I'm not that bad, but oh my holy hell I've been tired. Um, I don't know if this is just a month catching up with me, with my brain, like this is the most crazy my brain's ever been. So today you're joining me, a little bit late today, I want fajitas, I've, really cra I've been really craving fajitas and I thought, why not have some fajitas? This is the best pack in the world, I don't know what they put in the sauce, but when I tell you it transcends me to a place of pure bliss. So this is the old El Paso gluten free. If you follow me on Instagram, you should see that I use this a lot. I don't like to go crazy with my fajitas. I just like to keep it old school. I've got white onion, peppers. I'm incredibly lazy and you're gonna tell me off so much, but I went for the all ready to eat sweet and smoky barbecue chicken breast slices. They're already flavored, they taste amazing. I know what I'm gonna get. I'm not gonna get food poisoning. Eat some cheese, I went with the lacto-free grated cheese. I really, really love this. This is one of the best on the markets, I think. Okay, so firstly, what we're gonna do is we're gonna like cut up all of our vegetables. I really wanna watch Broadchurch again. Like I'm in a really cozy mood today. Or I need to, I promise Zoe I watched the Page Master as well, but I'm really waiting for like the perfect time to watch that. Whoa, sorry about the wind guys, wow. Is there another storm brewing? Okay, this is my favorite invention ever. I feel like everyone's seen this now, but I'm just gonna cut my onion in half. This is very mark friendly. Bam. Oh, it just cuts it up perfectly. Gonna have a bit more onion, cause why not? It's Christmas. I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna use a whole onion, why not? So keep all the colds away. Okay, and then I'm gonna grab my red onion, uh, pepper. And then, am I gonna slice this or do I wanna dice it? I'm gonna slice it. So dice onion and sliced pepper. Frying pan now. And I'm gonna use some extra oil, extra oil, extra virgin oil. Then I'm gonna grab a yellow one. My method of just ripping them in half is so easy. <laughs> Slicey slice. Happy 27th birthday to Scream. Wow, 27 years old, guys. That is a long time ago. Okay, so the peppers are cut up. This one is going back in the fridge. It's just so simple and easy. It's very mark friendly, guys. <laughs> and grab my favorite bowl in the whole world. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna put the peppers on, and then I'm gonna pour the cheese in the bowl. Oh, it sounds chaos outside. Loads of people doing last minute Christmas shopping. You get the tortillas, the seasoning mix, and the sauce. Oh, I don't know what is in you, but I love you. I don't actually like my onions and peppers too um, cooked, if that makes sense. I quite like them to be a little bit raw because I love the crunch. So I'm gonna add in the, um, the seasoning mix. Oh, it just smells so good, guys. Old El Paso, the salsa. I'm gonna let that simmer, and then I'm gonna place in the chicken. Don't wanna offend anyone who loves fajitas and I may be doing it wrong. I'm so sorry. This is just how I love it. The tortillas, splash some um, leaf herrings in here. Also some ch um, garlic paste as well. Lovely. Oh guys, look how nice that looks. Got the cheese there if I need any more. And then maybe if I, then I'll grab a folding plate. I really need to get like smaller tongs and then grab a big chunk. Ho 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 ho! And then get some cheese. Or overload it. <laughs> wow, okay, that's very full. Wow, wow, wow. I made the mistake of putting like the cheese in and melting it at one point and that just did not go down well at all. Uh oh. And if you want to make it veggie, you can use like 
portobello mushrooms, <clears throat> an aubergine. Oh, that'd be really nice. So yeah, cooking with Mark. Oh my goodness, who's this? I'm sorry, I don't recognize you. Hey guys, so it's a little bit late on tonight and I thought, why not? Going out tonight, going for dinner, seeing my friends. I thought, why don't I make you some Christmas inspired cocktails that I've stolen off other people <laughs> from TikTok and Instagram. Um, so I'm gonna make two cocktails and one mocktail. This is the most me I've felt in like three days. Don't forget guys, I'm all about self love. Beauty comes from within, but just remember, I am a Libra. I'm leaving that with you. I'm Libraing that with you. Do I love to get up and get glammed up? Yes, I do. Do I like to have my hair quaffed and feel insecure if my hair isn't quaffed enough? That's why I wear a hat the majority of the vlogs because I couldn't stand one hair being out of place. Yes. Am I a little bit high maintenance? Yes. Do you still love me? Hopefully yes. Do I love to get dressed up and glamorous when the time is right? Yes, I do. Do I look glamorous every day? No, I don't. This is a cocktail. Um, don't you just love content creators who list everything and label everything? This is by a, a TikToker called My Friends Called Bev. No, my. <laughs> you would have thought that I've already had a cocktail. My Friends Call Me Bev, and it's at Bev's by Beverly. So we're gonna do two cocktails by Bev's by Beverly and one cocktail by um, Days With Day. The first one is for all my margarita fans, a spicy Navidad margarita. You are going to need brown sugar or white sugar. I only have white sugar. Um, cinnamon powder. You're gonna need some like um, sea salt. You're gonna need some honey, a shake with ice, orange liqueur, pomegranate juice, honey, fresh chili, and lime, and tequila. Oh my God. Obviously tequila. Uh, rimming your glass with the honey and then dip it in the cinnamon, sugar, salt and everything like that. Um, this is one of the glasses that Zoo got me for Christmas. The glass in honey and then just go around a few times with the sugary, cinnamony, salty rim. Oh wow, it smells amazing. Okay, so we're gonna leave that, oops. So we're gonna leave that there for a sec. Squeeze five ounces of fresh lime into a shot. Okay, so we need five ounces of the good old um, fresh lime in the shaker. And then you need 1.5 ounces of pomegranate juice. So 1.5, so that's three of these. One, two, three. 0.75 ounce of orange liqueur. What the hell is 7.5? That must be like a tiny bit then. So we're just gonna make this bit up and just do the, like the tiniest little splash, like that, the tiniest bit. Then we have our chili pepper that I'm gonna cut into two bits. And then I'm gonna put it in there. Ounce of the Tequila, oh. I haven't followed this exactly like that. And then. And then pour it into your glass. <laughs> I'm not gonna garnish it because I have no limes left. You can get a little thing. Keep that aside. Take a straw and a little high, and then you can hope for the best. Holy, I'm gonna be drunk before dinner. Kill the press, stop the papers, Mark's gonna be drunk before dinner. Honestly, I did not expect that to go down as well. Oh my gosh, that is absolutely delightful. Wow, I'm actually really surprised at how amazing that tastes. Okay guys, so the next one is for more my uh, 
for more of my aesthetic sort of people. This is called a Winter Wonderland Mimosa. Lemons, honey, Prosecco, blueberry juice, pink cranberry juice, ice, um, fresh lemon, and then in here I have honey. This is like snowflake um, ice sprinkle things with white sugar and silver um, cake spray. So firstly, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rim just half of the um, Prosecco glass. Might have to in individually put some on, but that looks cute. This is another Bev's by Beverly. Like that. Oh God, it's sliding down. You're gonna need this blue, I can't pronounce it. Blue drink, this one. Okay, so you're gonna need five ounces into the shaker of lemon juice, a dollop of honey, five ounces of the blue drink, two ounces of the cranberry juice. Whack that on and give that a good shake. Lovely, and then you wanna add Prosecco to the top. Why doesn't mine look anything like hers? I did exactly... Oh, she's got a taller Prosecco glass than I have. Be very careful with Prosecco bottles. Whoa. Pour it to the top. I'm just gonna put some gold cake spray in there. Oh, wow, okay, it doesn't look too bad at all. <gasps> This is a Winter Wonderland Mimosa. Um, oh no. There's something in this that I don't like and I think it's the blue stuff. Though I can imagine it would be better without the blue stuff. Personally for me, I wouldn't add the blue stuff. I would just have everything else apart from that. It's very sweet, it's very sour. Okay guys, so this is the mocktail. So what we're gonna do is once again get some honey, rim the edge of the glass with honey, and then dip it in some white sugars. Then I'm gonna pour some ice into the glass. Then I'm gonna grab this lemon and lime crush drink and pour that up like just over halfway. Then I'm gonna take blueberry juice, and then fill the rest up. Then I'm gonna take a lemonade ice cream, ice lolly, dunk that in there. Sprinkle some blueberries over. This looks amazing. Don't want, I don't know if this had a, oh. How cute is this? Oh, this is amazing. Ooh. That is very refreshing. Oh, I love that. My mum would love this. So anyway, guys, I really hope you've enjoyed this. We've only got a few days left of Longmas. I love you guys so much. I really, really do. And um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye.